Now be recorded. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, hello, everyone. So we'll now start with the how to build a resume. Okay. So basically, when you you just have to nothing but you just have to go to Google. Or we'll be also sharing this link in the WhatsApp once we end this end this session. What to do is you just have to go to Google. You just have to search resume builder. So in that you'll be getting n number of platforms. Where what I have chosen is I have chosen the resume the uh, resume builder www dot resume builder dot com website. I'll be sharing this in the chat box as well. And also once this session ends, I'll be sharing this link even in the uh, WhatsApp groups, all the WhatsApp groups. So what you do is first thing is you have to log in here. Once you uh, create uh, log, in, once you open this uh, uh, resume builder, you have to log in. Why you have to log in? Because so that you'll be able to access the same resume what you have prepared after 10 days as well. Suppose let's say you have logged off today, uh, or you have closed the application. Tomorrow, if you want to resume again, you want to update something, you can again log in to here uh, uh, in this website, where it will ask you to log in through the Gmail account. Last you log in through your Gmail account. You can log in through your personal account. Once you log in, you will be getting a home page. This is a home page of the resume builder. So here, you can, as you can see, that there are uh, multiple templates present here. Okay, not here. You just have to click on your create new resume. They are the old templates. Yeah. Once you click on create resume, you'll be getting uh, uh, two options. If you're having, if you're already having a resume in your LinkedIn, you can import from there, or else you can. Since we are freshers, we can start from our creating a new pro new resume here. You click on all in one editor. So here you'll be getting multiple templates here. Okay. Even these templates you can also change once you're completed with your uh, updating of your profile. Also, you can change it. So in this, let us take for example. Uh, let us take this one. Let's ask them which one looks impressive. Okay, you go we, to the first one. Uh, yeah. You, Tell me online uh, which one looks impressive. You can just tell me the serial number one, two, three. Which one looks good? Just just let me know. Fourth one. Okay, fourth one. Let's go with third one actually. Third one is probably better yes, because, because the less space spacing is, is, there. Space is yeah. properly utilized. Correct. I mean, you will be able to accommodate more things in the same same page. Right. So let us go for the third one. And other reason is what they are all separated properly by the lines. So you can clearly create skills separately, education separately, a yes. profile summary separately. Yeah. Yes. So he again, what happens in this particular application is. Every block, let's say, first one is a personal detail block. Every block will be able to edit here: personal detail, professional detail, educational details, key skills. If you if you at all need an additional customized section, also you can do this in this particular application. So let's say, for example, in this personal detail, what we want here: job title. What is the what is the current job we are looking for? Functional verification or design verification engineer. See, as soon as you start entering these uh, blanks, right? So your resume gets built one by one, stage by stage, right? Then what is the first name? Write your first name, last name. What is the phone number? Your email address. I'll just do for one or two blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I will will give you the time for two to three days. Yeah. We want everyone to submit. We'll be sending one. We'll be sharing a Google Drive link where everyone will be sharing your updated profiles. Okay. Address. Or also, you can you fill finally here. download that and show them how the overall resume looks like. One. Let me do. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. I'll do of one thing. Okay. Uh, Okay. 
So choose the city here. I mean, uh, you can also uh, write a profile summary here, basically. Yeah, I, I told you, right? Yes. Some three, four points you can write. Here. Like all that. Okay. So already I have listed uh, some of the profile points here. So let me just take it from there. Um, let me just take take my profile summary. I already have it. Otherwise, uh, as it is, you can download and show them uh, how this resume looks like. Yes, now I'm audible. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. So what I was saying was basically this profile summary when you go and write, you can also keep the bulleting points here, which the tool only provides you actually. Okay. So once you're done with your profile detail, next step is what? You can go with your they can upload photo also. Yeah, you can also apply the photo here. See here, upload photo is coming, right? If you want to apply photo, you can apply it. Let's say you don't want to show photo, just toggle this off. Toggle it off. You see here, there is no that uh, symbol here, profile symbol or photo symbol. Right? Suppose let's say you want to upload your photo, just toggle it on. You'll be getting this uh, symbol here. Means in this, in this section, your photo will be uploaded. Once this is done, next is what? Professional experience. You can, in this professional experience side, what you can do? You can say that you are a VLA, you have done eight months of training in VLA Seguru Institute. What are the, in the eight months, what are, what was your, uh, what did you learn? You can put in a brief summary here. Okay. Next is what? Education. In the education side, what you can do? See, education, uh, you can start from here. Means one section is for one uh, uh, schooling, actually. So suppose, let's say, uh, you can start from your schooling section. That is where you did, did your 10th. OK. And once you are done, done with the filling your 10th, 10th standard, then you can go with the pre-university. Then also, you can go with what? The engineering, a BTEC or mtech what you have done once you are filled with the education section right what you can do you can go with the key skills actually what will be your key skills see here also there is one more option as well if you want to show how much expertise you are in a particular key skill you can also toggle this option where you will get the like some kind of a level you will get here so where let's say for example i am going to say that my key, key skill is amba protocols APB, AHB, and AXL. 
you can also uh, mark like how much expertise you are in AMBA protocols. Let's say you are in what? Or five, four points, five points, you can keep it here. So actually speaking, this key it should be in a protocol section. It should be in a different protocol section. But uh, when I say regarding key skills, what will be there actually? Okay, one second. I think it's loading uh, this time. Okay, I think let's go further. You can delete this also. Uh, I, again, additional key skills you can add here. Very log. Again, you can mark how much expertise you are in. Once you have done with the key skills, right? What you can do? Suppose let's say you want to add additional uh, informations for your uh, resume. Let's say project. See, you are not able to see any any project section here, right? They don't provide you any project section. So what you can do? Customize sections you can do. In customized sections, what you can do is you can just add your own section actually. So customize the section here. Here, uh, wait is one second. Just a minute. Let me just close all these things. Customize section. Yeah, customize section here. So in this customize section, what you can do is, what is the name uh, in the customize section? You can give here as. What do you want here? Name. What is the name you want for this customize section? I think the name you can change it here itself, actually. Yeah. So here you can give it as projects. Okay, what you can do, you can just, uh, what is the project name you have done? Let's say you have done memory design and verification. Verification using Verilog. Using Verilog. Just an example. So you can just uh, maybe you can also write your project timeline here. When was this project started? What is the end date? You can also give a summary of the project. You can have a summary of the project here with the bulleting points or with uh, the, line, the numbers here, line numbers. Once your project you have updated and once you have all the things you have uploaded into your uh, resume builder app, what you can do is you can directly click on uh, download actually. Let me show you where is it as well. Yeah, save this first. Save it. Uh, there should be one download option. Uh, just a minute. Mm -hmm. See in the left side, right? There is download option. You click on this download. You'll be able to choose whether you want in PDF format. Basically, we go for PDF format all the time, so that you can just uh, send send it directly. So click on continue. You'll be able to download will start. You'll be able to see here. Open this. It means currently I'm not uh, filled the, all the details, but once you fill all the details, right? You will be getting in a proper organized format, and it looks impressive as well. The resume. Is this clear? And also, let's say, for example, see, there are some additional things also. Let's say you want to increase the font style, font, all those things also you can do in this particular app. Okay. If you want to change some colors as well, template colors, so if you want to re rearrange some sections here, you want to keep projects first, let's say, you want to keep education, uh, you want to keep education in the third, such type of rearrangement also you can do. 
after doing this, let's say you don't feel good in the template. What you can do is you can change the template later on. Just go to template section, choose whichever template you want. Let's say today you didn't like this for some reason. You can go and keep another template as well. Any different template also you can choose. So it provides with n number of templates here. I think 20, 30 it provides. You can choose what you like and you can update respective contents. Is it clear? Any questions you have here? See, the only thing is you have to log in. Log in through an official mail ID. I uh, mean, personal mail ID. That's the only thing what this application requires. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the only thing what this application requires. You can also change these colors as well. Suppose, let's say you don't like orange, go for blue or something like that. Again, I don't think color is much needed. You have any questions here? Oh, yes, I have one question. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, we can add our other experience, uh, like which is not uh, related to VLSI. Yes, you can apply. Let's say, for example, where do you apply? Where do you apply? Let's say, uh, I'm going to choose this. Okay, let's go back to the editor here. You have to apply it here. Professional experience is there. Here only you have to apply. One experience you can apply here. Okay. Okay. No, our question is, can we add? We can add. We can add actually. You can add one. You can add it. Add it. Here. Any other questions you have? Any questions? Any other questions? Someone is asking, can we add diploma UGPG is project? Yes, you can add, but uh, if something is uh, uh, not relevant to VLSA, keep it in the end. Mm -hmm. Always keep the important projects first in the beginning. Then the simple projects. Then BTEC MTEC project. You can add your, uh, uh, I mean, uh, some awards. Let's say you are a champion in chess. You can mention all those kind of things. A very small bullet. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? Hobbies. Again, if the space permits, you can do that. You can write, see, someone is telling, can we add software experience as ITS? You can write, doesn't matter because any experience will help. Because when you say that you have already worked in a company, they will feel that it will be easy for you to join into a new company and work also, even though it's a different experience. Yeah, if you have done memory test bench using system catalog, you mentioned that only. Till now, whatever you have done, you you know, right? From the day one till now, what all projects we have done. That only you add it. You don't need to do add, you don't need to add anything outside of what we have done. When you come to UVM, when we go to the project, we'll do other things also. There is a project that is pending for you, we'll be doing that in a week or so. See, all I am waiting. See, some of you have completed who have completed SV and UVM. There is still a major project that is pending. Why it is pending is we wanted to give you time for one or two weeks for you to improvise on SVUVM, complete SV assignment, complete UVS assignment, so that you can come, you can be well prepared for the project. Yeah, any other questions related to uh, which we have done in our BTEC? Yeah, I told, right, what are projects you have done in your BTEC, MTEC, anything you can write. For example, in Verilog, let's say in Verilog, we have done clock generation using Jitter, Duty Cycle, and uh, user provided. That can be one line description. Where you say that uh, uh, developed a very log code for clock generation using duty cycle jitter and tree. Uh, 
for free user frequency. Let's say you have developed a parameterized pool pool ladder. You implement that, write that also one one line. That's all. It should give a feel to the other person. What is that you know? What is that you understand? That you can convey only by putting the details in your resume. Okay. Any other question? If you have someone has done MBA qualification, you can add it. Any other questions? So what we will do is, like we said, we will give you four days time. That is four days time means what? Till Sunday evening. Sunday evening, I will be sending our admin will be sending one Google form to each one of you, everyone. Even though you are some of you are in uh, digital design, some of you are in Verilog. I don't know. We will be sending one Google form. You will have to upload your resume. We will be reviewing it. If I find it. The way it is uh, in a plain like a word document, I'm not going to accept it. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to call you to the institute. I'm going to make you do the thing in front of me. OK, again, understand your resume should be built using proper professional resume builder. OK, any other question? Whatever, see, Abhi now, whatever you feel you can write, you you want you can write let's say in, in digital if i have to ask you what is that you learned in digital tell me can you summarize abhi now what you learned in digital just in two lines the same summary you have to put in your resume what is that you learned in digital you ask yourself tell me what will what will i write expertise with all the digital design concepts including the uh, k map logic reduction uh, pos and sop representation uh, what else you have learned? Expo understanding a proper understanding of the different flip flops, the flip flop applications, including counters, frequency division, edge detector. Just write two bullets. If you have, if someone has only completed digital design, what they are going to write? I think you have to share the screen. Oh yeah, you can write. Uh, anyway, my, uh, let me write here only. If you have to write for digital design, I am writing in the notes. Okay. Uh, I think you can share it. I can share. Yeah. So if it is for digital design, what will I write? Right? A good understanding of all the combination logic basics. Uh, combination logic, including Emacs, uh, the POS, SOP, logic reduction. What else you might have learned? As part of sequential logic, uh, understand good understanding of flip flops, the interconversion. Interconversion of flip flops, the free flip flop applications. You can write here counters, okay, uh, frequency dividers, the FSMs, an edge detector logic. Uh, whatever see so you know right if you just go through the presentation you will get it you can just mention these two lines in your resume in a little better manner you can update this okay uh, nobody is going to punish you nobody is going to ask you why did you why did you write kmaps why did you write a pos why did you write a SOP? as long as you are only taking two lines and you are mentioning overall summary of what you did in digital design you can write that let's say if you want to do very long what you can write a good understanding of Very log language constructs. What projects you have done? Let's say worked on a few examples, few examples to understand for it for good uh, for learning language constructs. That's all. That should also be fine because you are telling that you have learned a very log language in a proper manner. Okay. Is that clear to you, Abhi? Now. Now again, someone is asking me font size. I'm, I'm telling you that you are matured enough to make your decision. You should not ask me. You should write 16. I should write 17 and all that. You are matured enough to make your decision. No, no, no need to send. See, you are uploading resume itself is like a review for me. I'm asking you to upload your resume because we want we want to review. Okay. And uh, probably our trainers won't have 
time to review each and everything if you send in whatsapp we upload it our trainer will go through each and every resume and if there is anything he will inform you anything else any other questions okay uh, thank you everyone we will end the session uh, you can mention training from vlsa guru no need of internship if you have done internship if you specifically say that you have done internship then only you mention otherwise you mention only training from vlsa guru please understand the importance of this session okay uh, i told you uh, i gave you a sample also i gave you four five names and then i asked you to pick your pick which resume is impressive uh, you were able to immediately pick that is how your resume also should look like where people should feel about feel good about seeing your resume also okay with this we will end the session any questions before we end the session okay thank you everyone